TV. It's your girl Elda. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, right, right, I need you to hit the subscribe button. Okay, then I need you to turn on the bell. Then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag die cousin gang. And you'll officially be my cousin. You feel me? Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up, for me? Shaggy Bam. Bam. Lead it no somewhere, man. Woo! But you know how we get down. We be like, welcome back. Back. Hey, back. Back. Hey. Woo! So, y'all. Let, 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 let's chit chat a little bit, dude. Just, 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 just a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? Uh, because, you know, uh, God is good. Yes, He is. And. I want to give glory. I like to thank my God for being the head savior um, um, of my soul, the head of my life. You know, um, I thank him for dying on the cross for me. Um, because, baby, if it wasn't for God, is it if it wasn't for God, okay? I'm here to talk to my people, my authentic people. I'm here to talk to the people that have that stubborn love. I'm here to talk to the people or chit chat with the people that under that understands love. I'm here to talk to the people uh, that understands that you know that has a heart like me where we love and we love unconditionally, and when we um, who who fights. Uh, who fights who who makes sure we don't allow things to harbor in our heart or you know where we don't um you know where we where we truly guard our heart not for the sake of man but my relationship with God okay um for your relationship with God and you know wanting to be holy, stay holy, keep it holy. You know, where we're able to love like we never been hurt. Okay, that's who I came to talk to today. I feel like I was starting to preach a little bit. Yeah, let me slow down. I feel like I was getting ready to preach a little bit, but y'all know it's in my nature, so you know, straight up. Oh, y'all, by the way, it is available. If you ain't get your candle yet, you ain't get your wax milk yet or your room slash car mist spray click the link in the description box and go ahead and get you your candle and you know i got some for the men too straight up straight light dead you already know but um y'all i was in my fields today our show was i was in my fields today and i had to it was one of those moments where i was just like god what did i do what did I do? Somebody crying. I'm like, okay, God, what, what, what did I do? Okay. I just, I'm like out the gate, God, I've been nothing but respectful out the gate. I've been gracious at the gate, you know, like I looked at it from all point, you know, sides. And like I said, you know, I, I kept my peace, you know, um, even in my thoughts, you know, I'm like, I remained, you know, respectful and, you know, all kinds of things. But sometimes what I've come to learn, especially today, you know, talking to my girlfriend, shout out to you, baby girl. You already know I love you, girl. I'm your favorite, though. I'm your favorite, though. Sometimes how people treat you or what people do to you, you know. Sometimes, and listen to me and hear me good, y'all. Sometimes it has nothing to do with you. So I'm about to help some of my folks today. How they acting, how they choose to act, how they choose to go about certain things has nothing to do with you. Nothing. This is something that they are battling on the inside or they struggling with or whatever it is that they desire to hold on to listen it has nothing to do with you all right so i want you to hold on i want you to keep it pure keep it pure and in and and like 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 my um pastor been saying listen that's soul care okay soul care 
all right um let me read to you what she posted and it just when i say it just blessed me it blessed me because i made a decision after the fact um you know i was talking to my husband and you know i was just letting my husband know how i felt or whatever you know because that's my baby hey baby hey baby that's that baby so you know i was talking to him um, and I was just letting him know how I felt about it or whatnot. And, you know, I just love my husband. He's very supportive, um, you know, very attentive to his wife. Because he don't play by his wife, period. But, um, and, you know, even, you know, and him knowing his wife, he was like, you know, babe, I know how you feel. I understand. But, you know, do what you do best. Where you go into prayer and you, you cry it out. You give it to the Lord and you leave it. Um, don't allow... Um, bitterness don't allow um anger don't allow um anything that is not of god to seep into your heart so this is what i'm telling you listen to what she said she says soul care friday if it causes you to sin run if it causes you to be unforgiven run if it causes you to gossip about it run if it causes you to hate run there are some things that cost that cost are too high all right and she said i have been thinking about this powerful statement if you don't forgive your father in heaven won't forgive you so all the things that you have asked to be forgiven has not because you have not yet forgiven once again cost too high so when you think you are good when you think you are in good standing with god you're not my soul matters your soul matters be a good steward over it some things you will have to forgive by faith i know the hurt is deep especially when you did not do anything to deserve it but it is not worth your soul do the work for you forgiveness looks different for everyone some might reconcile some may not but whatever you do forgive so your heavenly father will forgive you. Matthew uh, Matthew 6, 14. If you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. And when this situation happened, when everything transpired, when I was looking um, at everything overall, I was just like, Lord, Show me where I'm wrong. Show me where I'm wrong. And after um after the Lord, you know, after after that, I was like, Lord, I don't want no bitterness. I don't want no anger. I don't want no hate. I don't want no malice. I don't want anything that is not of you to seep into my heart concerning um certain individuals. I say I want to respect them for who they are. But I need you to guard my heart. I wash my hands. Yes. You know, there's no need for no reconcile. There's no need for me to be in your face or you for you to be in my face. You get what I'm saying? But I also had to ask the Lord to help me to forgive. Because when you're an when you're an individual that loves and loves hard, when you're when you are a loyal person, when you are a supportive person, you know, and you have such a big heart, you know. Like when you get hurt, it hurt. And then it's like you be praying to God that you don't react in the flesh. So, but when you really sit, when you really sit to break down the situation, when you really sit to analyze, when you really sit to observe, it has nothing to do with me. Nothing. So how I was treated was not fair. It wasn't. But I pray that the Lord be with you because you yourself is going through something. And I pray for their healing. I pray for their breakthrough. I pray for their deliverance, okay? I choose not to take it personal. So I don't know what you may be facing, cousin. I don't know what you might be dealing with. You know, when you look at when you look at what's going on. Do it, is it really have something to do with you? Or is it whatever that person is dealing with and you just got caught in the crossfire? 
You gotta ask yourself. So, choose to love, choose to continue to heal, choose to elevate, choose to increase, choose to forgive, not for them, but for you. Not for them, but for you. Continue to walk in the oracles of God. Continue to allow your footsteps to be ordered by God because the cost is too high. The cost is too high. And I don't want you to allow something so minute to cost, you know, to cost, to cost too much money, too much of whatever it is. Because all that hard work, all that dedication, all that pushing, all that crying that you did to get to that place mentally, emotionally, spiritually, then baby, you can't let nobody interrupt that. So with that being said, cousin, I hope this encourage you where you choose to let it go, where you choose to forgive, where you choose to walk away, not for them, but for you, for your mind, for your heart, for your salvation, okay? Don't let nobody bring you down because they choose to act the way. You cry before the Lord, you give it to the Lord, and you keep on moving, period. Keep on moving. So, but I'm getting ready to, you know, do my second route. Then we got to go home finish you know some work and work on some content and you know as we prepare for the men's conference but um i would definitely be back um i'm coming with an update video 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 about where i been because i know y'all like cousin cousin where you been I've been dealing with some stuff I've been dealing with some stuff, okay? I've been getting it together, okay? So, I will give you an update video in a couple of days. But make sure you be subscribed to the channel, okay? Make sure you be my friend, okay? Make sure you be my friend, you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe right now. Subscribe right now, okay? But I love you, baby. And you have you, you baby. You have victory on every side. Hallelujah. Amen. Good night.